Hi, my name's Robert Zilli, Conservation Framer at the Queensland Art Gallery, Gallery of Modern Art. And this is the studio where we make all the frames that you see hanging on the gallery walls. Here, we combine traditional picture frame making techniques and materials with modern machinery to create everything from custom stretches through to frames for historical and contemporary artworks for paintings and works on paper in the collection. As well as creating new frames, we also undertake the conservation and restoration of frames and furniture. Currently on display in the International Galleries is the incredible work of the renowned German Renaissance painter and printmaker Albrecht Dürer. The newly made frames for these works required in-depth research to ensure the most suitable, historically accurate style of frame was chosen. Replica frame making not only requires high level technical skills, it also requires extensive knowledge of art and architectural history. In researching suitable frame styles, I contacted one of Germany's leading antique frame dealers and frame makers, who provided images of two 16th century German Renaissance cassette frames he had in his collection, which he thought would be suitable candidates for this project. One of the original frames was made from oak and the other was made from fruit wood that had been ebonized. After some deliberation with curators, exhibition design and conservation staff, it was agreed to replicate the ebonized fruit wood frame and use black mounts for the Dura prints. Sample frames were made in various sizes to determine the best proportions of the new frames. A key consideration when constructing replica frames is to be as true to the techniques and materials used when the frames were originally made. Fruit wood, as the name suggests, is the wood of any fruit tree particularly from species such as pear, cherry and walnut. Sustainability is always a consideration at Quagoma and sourcing ethically harvested sustainable timber is a key factor when purchasing from suppliers. In this instance, the timber chosen for this project was sourced from a small scale, independent certified operator in New Zealand, who specialises in harvesting walnut from private landowners. Every aspect of the Dura reframing project was exciting, from the initial research, to sourcing the timber, making the frames, through to developing the ebonized finish, which involved numerous applications of different chemicals to achieve the desired depth of colour. I also find the collaborative nature of reframing at Wagoma very rewarding. Working closely with curators, exhibition design, conservation staff and management to achieve an outcome we're all proud of. Once the frames were completed, they were handed over to our works on paper conservator and technician, who then mounted and fit the artworks into their new frames. The prints really popped in the black mounts they used. So next time you visit the gallery, have a closer look at the frames. There's more to them than you may have originally thought.